it seems like everyone's talking about open source these days. Uh, the idea behind that came from the 1980s from computer programmers. What they began doing was they took uh, the code for the program and they made it freely available to anybody. They could take it, change it, remix it, make a new program out of the code. It was free for anybody. Well, that idea spawned other open source ideas. Open source architects took blueprints and they freely shared them with other people to make new buildings. Uh, pharmaceutical companies took open source uh, recipes for how to make medication and they gave them uh, freely to other people so they could change them and make medication available to all people. Uh, universities started uh, giving education online for free where they would offer a class. It was open source. Well, the problem with open source is it's really not all that open. Uh, a whole swath of the population around the world doesn't have access to electricity. They live below the poverty line. Uh, if you don't have education, it, having computer code doesn't do you anything if you don't know how to utilize it, if you don't have the uh, tools to build a building. We find out that open source really isn't all that open. It's closed to many. But there is something better than open source. Uh, the good news of Jesus Christ that is truly open and free for all. The good news of Jesus, the gospel. Uh, Jesus came into a world that was closed. Uh, closed by sin, uh, our access to God was closed off by sin. We were cut off, uh, broken. But Jesus came and gave us access. Uh, restored that access to God. Restored our relationship to our Heavenly Father. Uh, and through Christ Jesus, we have open access to God. You can't get very far in Scripture before you hear about Jesus. Uh, Genesis 3.15, this uh, promise of God that he's going to send a Savior. Uh, in the midst of Adam and Eve's sin, in the midst of their fall, uh, as the garden is breaking up, God gives them a promise that he's going to send a Savior, uh, an offspring, who will destroy Satan forever. And Jesus is that fulfillment of the promise. Jesus is the one God promised, I will send someone to redeem you. And in Jesus, uh, we hear him boldly proclaim, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, Jesus proclaimed, nobody has access to the Father except through me. So let me ask you, uh, as you read through scripture, as you read through this book, how does Jesus give us access to God the Father? 